And here we have some more of the younger generation of fans of David Lynch's finest work with Log as well. So what brought y'all into the show? I mean, clearly nostalgia. My, 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 my parents loved it in the 90s and it's on Netflix, so I, why not? Yeah, I there. saw it on Netflix. It's really good. And uh, I, just, I just started watching and it was beautiful, so I well, just kept watching it. <laughs> was it the characters or the story or like what, was there one pivotal it like, thing? It was like surreal, like it was like, you think that like one thing's gonna happen and then, and then there's like, Ghosts and stuff, and then you're like, well, that's that's crazy. No, I didn't expect that. It's, like, it's, it's really unique. Like yeah. I've never watched that. Yeah, yeah. Never seen and, that and, and the, the right now don't do that. Stuff. Yeah, and they're completely filtered. And like I, I think I think the music also ties it together. Like it's like it's like every dimension of the show is just like amazing and beautiful. Well, yeah, whenever you heard that saxophone, it was like, oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, but. Have you seen anything lately that's been inspired by him at all, whether directly or indirectly? I think a lot of music, like a lot of, I mean, just that like dream pop, like, like playlist at the opera, yeah, yeah, yeah. like a lot of stuff like that. Like I mean, like yeah, yeah. has got like a lot of stuff. Like yeah. yeah. A lot of influence there. I think like art in general, like like film and stuff. No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, like even even gaming seems to have more of a David Lynch feel. Like, yeah. Like yeah. strange games like Deadly Premonition. With their own, their own, tw not twisted, but a a unique detective dealing with crazy crimes. Very cool. Well, hopefully you get to enjoy the new season. Yeah. And thank you again.